What's up everybody, Steven Z Kill here with another reaction and today we're checking out a rap battle between two big ass brains in anime. We have Kira, aka Light Yagami, versus Zero, aka Lelouch. So, if you guys do not know uh, anything about Death Note or Code Geass, I'm very shocked that you clicked on this video. But, we are checking out a rap battle between these big brain motherfuckers. Now, this has been a theory, or not a theory, uh, a discussion between these two because they're very similar characters and whatnot in, in, in some aspects. Now, this is going to be a cool little uh, thing. It's not like a true battle like we would see, but there isn't going to be a secondary video we're going to watch in this reaction where we're going to check out a Light versus Lelouch Who Would Win video. This was recommended to me by someone with the name, Lelouch in his name, uh, and he's been wanting me to check this out for a while, and I'm going to do both in one video. So we're going to check out the rap battle first, maybe go through who we think won. Uh, let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to win in this rap battle between Kira and Zero. Now, uh, both are very intelligent per, uh, people in their own universe and everything. I will say... I can't really decide who would I want win more, Kira or Lelouch, uh, and who is smarter or who is superior. And it is another kind of battle similar to Light versus L, where L's now been replaced with Zero. So this is going to be very interesting. Uh, the only thing I would give Kira over Zero would be the fact that. Kira has faced somebody as smart as as smart or smarter than himself in some aspects, uh, aka L, and won um, because technically he did win. He did kill uh, get L to die, whatnot. And Kira, uh, in that aspects, has faced somebody like that. I don't think Zero. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've watched all of Code Geass. I, I don't think anyone as smart as uh, as Lelouch himself did did he fight? I don't recall if he did anything at the same level as L. I'm saying same level, and in that aspect, I don't think so. There's been a couple times where uh, he was forced into a trap or two and and technically lost, but it ended up being part of his plan kind of situation I'm not sure so it's really hard to debate who's the smarter one in this but either way this is a rap battle not a true fight we're gonna check out something else afterwards that is a true fight either way we're still on the road to 100,000 subscribers and I know we can based off of this right here showing 77% of you guys watching are not subscribed either brand new to the channel or returning and haven't hit that subscribe button so if you're brand new to the channel hopefully you enjoy this content and, and check out some more on the channel if you guys want. And then hit that subscribe button today, hopefully. Uh, and if you're brand, not brand new and you have checked out a couple of my videos, oh, and you're not subscribed, hopefully this is the one that makes you hit that subscribe button today. Link down below for both videos. We're about to watch uh, back to back the Kira versus Zero Rep, and then the Light versus Lelouch uh, fight theory uh, video. And we're gonna check out both in this video. So let's get into this and enjoy it right now. Oh, I also didn't say, this is also by a new channel I've never seen before. Uh, I cannot know if I'm going to pronounce the name right, but that's the channel right here. If you guys know of any other things they've made that you guys want me to react to, let me know down below in the comments, and or join my Discord and post them in the reaction ideas section. All right. Out of all who dare defy me, I have not met one bolder than this cosplaying pussy freak. Holy shit, chip off your shoulder. What's an exile Britannian to my Japanese rap force? This is another scheme of yours you can't plan for. It. The brightest light of Daikoku will school a weekly creature of the night into a smoldering pile of ash. For this one man's army's blows will lacerate. Best your weak volunteer group any a day. I spit death sentence, you know I advocate. Your throne will abdicate, so drop the masquerade. Gamble your life away. Leave you okay. Just pieces you brought. Cause in the words of your father, I'm God. You're just a number. <laughs> okay. You know, the fact that I do know both these shows pretty well, um, 
I like this. For all add to my death quota, I'm devoted. I kill for the good of this world, your body, an ulterior motive. I mean, daddy issues. Please. I uh. at least my own father. A world for your sister living. <laughs> oh, how sweet. You know, that is... Oh my god. Yeah... Ooh. Wait, I'll go way farther. Sorry to rain on your brain, young me, but you seem to be really daft. As for us to go eye to eye, we'll end in your life cut in half. Seek you Damn. your knowledge of life with no contract with Shinigami. Unless risky deal with CC, cause your demise like Mikami. I'll bring the hickey huh. killer out of his shell. As my black knights make an advance and make their move in an L. God complex. <laughs> I like the chess aspect with that and 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 and, and uh, added an L in there. That was really good. Embrace the book to see the darkness. A nice way to discover friend right light in it. It's written that I'll win it. To talk okay, got a little Ryuk in here. Let's spin it. This world, my puppet, my marionette. Do you understand? Oh, does that mean is CC okay? Since Light has Ryuk as backup right now, does that mean Lelouch is gonna have CC as backup? Any alpha yet? If you know what's best, you'll tremble in fear. We're in both V and L from the alphabet. Make like a potato chip and eat it. The death note. <laughs> I'll drop it. You're but a bastard, backstabbing emo hair and delusional pro. I'm a tyrant. You're like a tyrannosaurus. Wh what? Don't look him in the eyes. I'll stick to rapping solo. Fine, but my lines would have been an appling to mine. I don't fear no monsters of yours. I've seen bigger nightmares, my <laughs> Shikiro. I've seen better demon rendered better love plots in ReZero. Can make anyone oh. bitch, whereas you've only got Misa. And now CC takes a bite of the mic just like a slice of pizza. I knew CC was gonna come in here. If Ryu came in, CC was coming in. Partner's goal is to watch your charade for it gets boring. So what's that freeloading apple? To the loyalist orange. I best did your kill count. Really? With the bat of an eye Real? That's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's one way to bring in fucking orange. Armageddon is verbal messenger of mine is known euphemism. Wanna take it up to 11. Satiated my indifference, but enough of your games. I'm bored. You're riding the bullet ray ramer. The pen's mighter than the gunner sword. Only idiots believe that idiot. <laughs> me for good. Let loose for Britannia. Command to you. To the world of favor. Make you of that block. Your time is up. Let the be the victor of this fight. And take the throne of the new world. World, I will ascend to higher height. Your heart will skip more than a beat when you finally meet your fate. You're but a pawn to further the world, and now it's check. Mate. Wait, they both fucking die at the end? <laughs> Wait, they killed each other? <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Um, all right, all right, all right. Well, it, it also dotted my head a little bit that, um... When it comes to, oh my god, there's just so much different aspects between both shows. And it's like, that ending with like fucking Orange and everything, Apple, whatnot, that was a weird one. But that ending was pretty good. I like how they started uh, synchronizing their, uh, their rap in a sense. Because they are ideally very similar characters, very similar aspects of them, but... I still don't know if Lelouch would beat Light or Light would beat Lelouch. Lelouch, like, um, he relies a lot on his eye power of being able to take control of people. A lot more than Light relies on the death book. A uh, death note. Well, I said death book. Wow, that's a fail. Um, but he, uh, he still outwits a lot of people, but there's a lot more threat in a sense with Alusha's world and and having the Gundam aspect to it it's it's really hard up and down kind of ch choosing who wins let me know in, in the in in the comments below who do you think won this rap let's listen to the last one one more time on the idiots believe that idiot it took a blade to end me for good let loose for britannia command to you to the world of favor make you of that block your time is up black will be the victor of this fight and take the throne of the new world i will ascend to higher height your heart will skip more than a beat when you finally meet your fate you're but a pawn to further the world and now it's check 
mates. So I'm guessing at the end there, Lelouch was able to write um, Kira's real name somehow, and his own, and Kira. Uh, I mean, I mean not Kira. I mean fucking Zero's real name. And well, I'm failing at this. And uh, <laughs> still, Lelouch got him to fucking write his name in the death book death note why am i fucking up on this so much <laughs> all right so that, that's pretty much it that's pretty much it all right let's go to the next video that's added into this one uh, this one is just Light versus Lelouch, who would win. This was also recommended to me to check this one out right after vi watching that one. Um, and, uh, oh, wow, this is actually a very long video. I was not expecting this. All right, well, we'll, we'll still check it out. It's a topic that's been debated for years now, but today we're going to try to get to the bottom of it. So, okay. who would win in a fight, Light or Lelouch? Okay. For those who haven't seen Death Note or Code Geass in their entirety, I suggest pausing the video, watching both of those shows, then coming back. That's, uh, that's something you'll do, right? Yeah. Because in order to reach a conclusion here, we're going to have to spoil both of these shows. So with that out of the way, let's look at our fighters. Alright, if you guys haven't watched the shows, I would actually agree. Go watch the shows. Do not get spoiled because I've watched all the, all the episodes of Code Geass and all the episodes of Death Note. I'm good with watching this. So you guys should definitely go watch the shows if you guys haven't. First up is Light, the main character from Death Note. He's basically Probably not going to pause as much because I want to get through this video at a decent rate. He uses to try and influence and better the world. Now, the item that he finds is a little black notebook called the Death Note, and inside of it, it basically explains that anybody whose name is written in it will die. Plus, it has about yeah. 66 rules to it, but that's the gist of it for now. Essentially, throughout the course of the show, Light writes down the names of anybody that he thinks is bad or evil or just anybody who's after him inside the Death Note in order to make the world a better place. He kind of wants to be the king of the world. Our next fighter yeah. is basically he's a hyper intelligent high school student who one day comes across a great power that he uses to try and influence the world. This is a uh, sound familiar, but the major difference here is the power. I felt the same way when I first watched, um, cause I was like almost done with death note when I first watched the, uh, like the first few episodes of code Geass, And I was like, this is just like code Geass and the eyeballs, of the fucking death note. <laughs> Instead of having a notebook wherein he writes people's names and then they eventually die, however, he says in the notebook, he gets an eye. Well, more accurately, he gets what he likes to call a geos, which is basically just a superpower that causes people to do whatever he wants when he looks them in the eye and tells them to do stuff. He, it's, it's mind control. It's, it's basically mind control that people forget about after it happens. That's mind yeah. control. They do whatever the hell he wants, mind control, done. And like the Death Note, there's also a couple rules to it. Now, to me, it seems the reason that people want these two to fight each other or go against each other in some epic climactic battle is because they're both hyper intelligent and a little bit sociopathic. Both of them want to. Yeah, they're the basically they similar. Best for it by using these powers, which drives them a little bit crazy. And here's where that spoiler thing comes into play because by the end of each of their series, they both die, except for maybe Lelouch, but that's we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, go watch the show. So let's take a hard look at these guys and see which one and the movies one would win in a fight. Now, right off the bat, when looking at these two characters, you think they're a little bit too similar, almost the same guy, but really they're not because the two of them each operate incredibly differently and they're both that's true in different ways. Now, both of these characters Very have true. alter egos, but the major difference here is in how they utilize them. Light's alter ego is called Kira or killer he basically works in the shadows and never goes out into the limelight or has any grandstanding gestures he's kind of the boogeyman Where yeah zero lelouch's alter ego is the polar opposite he is in the limelight very true he's basically the face of a revolution now right off the bat that seems to give light the edge because it seems as though lelouch will have a far more difficult time finding out who kira is since he hides in the shadows than light will finding out who zero is because he's always front and center 
But there's also a flip side to this argument because towards the beginning of Death Note, people they both have aliases light as being Kira. And the way that they go about this is actually pretty simple. They start to pinpoint who's dying and where. Because basically what Light's been doing is he's been watching the news and then killing bad people that he sees on the news with the Death Note. So basically all they have to do is decide where he is based on what news is being aired where at what time. It gets to the point where halfway through the first season... My question is, is if, if, if there's any point where I'm... And I could be forgetting something because I, I know I've watched uh, Code Geass all the way through and I enjoy the show, but I could be forgetting something. I, don't, I still don't think there's anybody up to the level as like Light fought L in a mind game of intelligence and deception like Kira had a face in um in Death Note as in like Zero had a face in Code Geass like I still don't think Zero had a face anyone in similar mind uh battle of wits kind of thing then people are already suspecting him specifically of being the killer and that kind of falls into Lelouch's wheelhouse because two things that Lelouch is really good at is finding people and geography that's pretty much been displayed throughout all of code geos i and guess that is true Lelouch sees everything as a game yeah lelouch would be l in a sense and would be able to figure things out just uh, similar to l yes so anything and i guess that's one thing lelouch does have is the fact that if lelouch suspects um light as l he'd just go eyeball power activate are you kira if so kill yourself i win it would be the case actually geographical he sees as a battlefield sees as a strategic location and any person involved in whatever he's dealing with is a pawn or a knight or a bishop they're all pieces on a chessboard to him yeah so him being able to find any one of them in any geographic location and pinpoint their exact identity or exact location isn't exactly out of the realm of possibility but that doesn't mean he's going to have an easy time doing it because light theoretically should be able to find out who he is first only not really because zero is constantly wearing a mask and this is very important for this fight you see because zero's helmet covers lelouch's entire head and it seems like it rarely comes off accidentally in the show so really the only person who would be able to take it off is lelouch himself this would make light finding out his identity very very difficult since he can't even with the shimigami face. eyes but then there's the argument that he could just go to wherever zero is and track him back to his house but that also doesn't seem very likely because you see throughout most of death note light works in a very constricted area he basically works around where he lives and kills people around that area where yeah. lelouch pretty much goes all over tokyo he goes wherever he's needed to fight his enemy and it really seems like the only people being able to track lelouch are the ones doing it suspecting that he is zero not the other way around nobody ever really tracks him as zero back to being lelouch instead they track lelouch until they see him become zero and that doesn't really happen the only case I can think of where somebody actually discovers his secret via that method is a girl named Shirley who's tracking him going, is that zero? That that might be zero after somebody told her, hey, that's zero. And she ends up losing him. The only reason she even discovers that he's zero in the first place is she ends up finding him on a fluke with his mask off and the rest of his attire on. That's it. So based on the intelligence of the people going after Lelouch, most of which are nearly as intelligent as him, it does seem pretty unlikely that Light would be able to find out who he is without some help. But let's not. I would not agree with that statement. There was not that many people that Lelouch is fighting, fighting that are as as intelligent. I don't. I don't think so. Undercut his intelligence because Light is very, very intelligent, easily comparable to Lelouch himself. So, what if he did find him? Let's assume that he does follow Zero and he does find out who Lelouch is and where he lives. At this point, really, all he has to do is go around school and ask everybody, "Hey, uh, what's that kid's name?" At which point, the second he finds out, he heads over to his handy dandy death note and jots down the name Lelouch Lamperouge. Except, that's not Lelouch's name. Lelouch's real name is Lelouch de Britannia, but he's yeah. by Lelouch Lamperouge because he had to kind of fake his own death. And here's where Yeah, that is true. I didn't think about that. that. Matters in this battle. There's a rule in the death note that says if a person's name is misspelled four times, then the death note will not work on them. And you have to assume that light will mess up oh uh, i never i didn't even know about this rule what okay so if, if if the person's name is misspelled four times that person's never going to be able to be killed by the death note again that's that's actually unique okay so he has four attempts at least this one time because he doesn't know his real name also i'm not undercutting his intelligence here but look at that name just just look at that name it, i i i find it 
almost impossible to believe that he's not going to try a different spelling of it at least once. But th maybe that's just me. Either way, that's a very important clause because at this point, Light not only has to find out who Zero actually is, he has to find out who. Lelouch so he has four attempts to actually only. And that's be okay, kind of I never knew he's about that, or I don't remember. His family, he doesn't look like any of them, except maybe his mom. You see, what happened is, after Lelouch's mother had been killed, he went after his father thinking that he had a part in the assassination, so his father sent him to Japan and then bombed the shit out of it. So basically, everybody thinks that Lelouch is actually dead, but he's not. And I find it a little bit difficult to believe uh. that Light's going to be able to put that information together in any relevant time. It's going to be pretty difficult for him to figure out that this guy is actually the presumed deceased son of the Britannian Emperor. You know, that's right actually now, true like there. Holy the shit. Corner. Like, he's going to have a bit of an easier time finding out who Light is than the other way around. But, yeah. Light kind of has a trump card. The Shinigami eyes. For those who don't know what a Shinigami is or what Shinigami eyes are, a Shinigami is. That's if he's willing to sacrifice death. half his life. All belong to gods of death unless they're dropped on Earth. It's, it's, it's kind of a huge thing, but essentially. Shinigamis or gods of death have death notes and light just happen to get one now What's important about a Shinigami's eyes is that they can see how long a person has to live and what their real name is So they can write it down in the death note for when they're gonna die now a human in possession of a death note Can make a deal to get the Shinigami eyes at the cost of half of their lifespan So yeah. theoretically if light got the Shinigami eyes and made that deal He could just look right at Lelouch tell how long he has left to live and his real name which would pretty much keep him in this fight. But here's the thing. Light never gets the Shinigami eyes. He never does not to. He's offered the deal, but chooses not to because the price is too high. And ultimately, it results in his death. But this is a theoretical fight. So let's assume that the two did meet up and Light saw Lelouch is a big enough threat to make that deal. So at this point, all Light has to do is get the Shinigami eyes, sit at home, look at Zero on the news, and write his name down, right? Well... No, because as is the way of Death Note, there are rules to the Shinigami eyes as yeah, well. Yeah, you have to, uh, not only does he have to figure out the name, he has to have the, the, the face of the person in mind. You have to be able to see at least 50% of a person's face for it to work. So he would still have to figure out who Zero actually is in order for the eyes to even work. And I know yeah. what some of you are thinking, no, he doesn't have to figure out who he actually is. He just has to get the helmet off. But no, that's not true either. Because Lelouch is incredibly paranoid, and underneath his helmet is a mask that covers up to his nose. And if you yeah. look at the Shinigami rules, it says that you have to be able to see from the top of someone's head to their nose, which the mask covers up. So wow, he he's a great counter to Kira. To he'd still have to get close enough to get off the mask, and that puts him in Gios range. Now we've talked a lot about Death Note. Dude, okay. In order for the Gios to work, Lelouch has to be able to look you in the eye within 272 meters, and then he can tell you what to do. And he doesn't just have to tell you one thing. As long as he has that eye contact, he can tell you as many things as he wants, essentially, in whatever time yeah. period he wants, and you're going to do them. He takes complete control, but he can only do this once, meaning the second he breaks eye contact, he can't do it again to the same person. And this creates a very innate flaw with the Gios, because if Lelouch misuses it and does not kill Light with it, then he's done. He can never use it again. Whereas Light has infinite pages in the Death Note. So it kind of seems to be in his favor. And the other important thing about the Gios is you cannot make somebody do something that they are incapable of doing. Basically, you can't make them fly across the sky for no reason. This is going to come up in a minute. Now, theoretically, for Lelouch to win, all he has to do is pinpoint where Kira is, which is the school that they pinpoint with the Kira Kill Force or whatever the hell it was called, and L. What they pinpoint is his school in his area. So all Lelouch has to do is go between each person in the school completely anonymously and be like, hey, are you, are you, uh, are you Kira? No? Okay, are you Kira? No? And just go across the line till he finds Light. But Light has a way around that. Very early on in the series, Light is suspected. Light would not just say, yep, bye. <laughs> being Kira by the Kira Kill Force or whatever the fuck the cops are called and L. So what they do is they confine him and they question him and the interesting thing about this is there's another clause in the Death Note, except this one works out in his favor. You see what the clause says is that if he loses possession of the Death Note, basically if he gives it up, he loses all memory of having the Death Note. So all they're questioning, he's answering honestly. He honestly believes that he is not Kira. He has no idea who it is because he no longer possesses the Death Note, so he no exactly. longer has the memory. 
which means that if Lelouch questions him, he can answer honestly, I'm not Kira, if he uses this. If he knows that Lelouch is after him, he can do this to get around that. Only yeah. maybe he can't. This one admittedly is a little bit shady. In a non-canon Code Geass story, it's revealed that Lelouch's Geass can actually bring back repressed memories. Now, this normally wouldn't be valid huh. because it's non-canon, but throughout Code Geass, he never deals with repressed memories. He never tries to bring that back. So we might see in season three that he very well is capable of doing that. So based on only the knowledge. Okay, I hope you watched Code Geass because that um that just was a huge fucking spoiler right there too. <laughs> that we have it is possible. It's not necessarily probable and it's definitely not for sure, but it is possible that even if Light uses that method to lose his own memories and be able to answer honestly that he's not Kira, that Lelouch might still be able to get around that. Okay, so at this point... Even to me, that I didn't even know they were actually making a, a, a third season of Code Geass because, yeah, it, could t it can continue, but did it really need to? That's interesting. And why are they going to take it? It kind of seems like things might be in Lelouch's favor again, except they might not be. Because here's something that nobody ever seems to know about the Death Note itself. When a human uses the Death Note, they become possessed by a god of death. The god of death who originally possessed the Death Note. So while okay. we know the Gyas works on humans, would it work on a god of death? Because even though the god of death doesn't come out, it doesn't control Lelouch like the exorcism of Emily Rose, it doesn't do anything like that, it's still in there. It's still somewhere in his subconscious. So Hey, he did the same thing I had done. I've accidentally... He said Lelouch when he meant to say light. <laughs> would the Gyas be able to work against a god of death? Well... Oh! Yeah. You see, late in the series, Lelouch actually uses his Gyas on a god during the battle against his father. And it works. Now, this has been hotly debated by fans, whether or not it worked, whether or not he used the Gyas, but according to the Code Gyas Wiki, which is kind of the only relevant source that I have, it seems legit. So... There's huh. really no reason to All think right. that it wouldn't work in Light's world if it works in Lelouch's. So right about now, things are looking pretty So bad. if Light wanted to, he could control Ryuk. But he couldn't. See, he can't see a god uh, of death without touching the Death Note first. So without being able to pinpoint, it wouldn't make sense. Bad for old Light. And this is where I want to go back to the downfall of the Gios itself. You see, if he uses it incorrectly on Light, he can never use it on him again. Yeah, he has one attempt. Light has technically four attempts. That's a huge problem. Think of it this way. What if he asks him... I will say, Lelouch's power is a little bit more powerful, easier to use, easier to conceal um, than light. But light is still powerful, but has some flaws with the rules. The wrong question. What if he tells him to do the wrong thing? What if he trusts him? There are a thousand different ways that the Gios could be used improperly against Light, and then he'd never be able to use it again. Yeah. But this is also kind of the final nail in the coffin for Light. You see, Light only has one way to win. He needs to find out who Lelouch is, and that's going to be incredibly difficult for him. He has yeah. to find out his real name. He has to be able to envision his face in order to write it down in the Death Note, or else he could kill another person by the name of Lelouch B. Britannia. And then, of course, he has to actually write down the name. All of this has to be done in order for him to win. Lelouch just has to kill Light. He doesn't have to do it with his Gios. He doesn't have to make him kill himself with his Gios. He could fuck up his Gios on Light and then figure out who he is and send... And then Lelouch fucking get after. snipers! He send all of Tokyo yeah. to kill Light. Holy shit! control all of them. Light doesn't control anybody. He can't control anybody. He can only kill with the death note when and lelouch is known to use weapons too like guns swords whatnot i've not really seen light really uh use a gun because honestly as it seems lelouch is kind of tailor-made to go against him he wears a helmet he has a mask over his face his name is hidden everything about lelouch seems twice to everything about light his damn only one use on light can be used on anybody else and he can use any of those other people to kill light all right, I didn't know who could win, but this video kind of has convinced me. I, I honestly would say uh, Light would lose against Lelouch. Light. And honestly, at the beginning of their series, Light is a little bit dumber than Lelouch. He's not as well hidden, even though he's working from the shadows and zero. I will agree with that at the beginning, at the beginning of um, of Death Note, Light makes a lot of mistakes and whatnot, which 
Yeah, I would say the beginning of Code Geass versus the beginning of Death Note, Lelouch is smarter. But then they're even near the middle of their series, yeah. Hero is in the limelight all the time. It's a lot easier to find light. They do it almost immediately. Whereas Sorry about it takes that. a hell of a lot longer for them to find Lelouch. And at this point, I assume I'm going to get a lot of people talking about, oh, what about Miso? What about Ryuk? What about Rem? What about the other guy who works for Light at the end? What about all these people that help him out? Well, if you include those people, you have to also include the people who help Lelouch. Yeah, and that's true. Basically has an if it's a one-on-one -on -one -on -one battle, it's a one-on-one -on -one -one battle. A god of death, a Shinigami, is super powerful. But the thing is, Ryuk... He has no fucks. <laughs> he cares less if Light wins or loses. When it helps entertain Ryuk. Ryuk has no vested interest in Light. The only reason that... Ryuk yeah, Ryuk would be like, I don't give a fuck if you win or lose, but CC would help out La uh, Lelouch. Rem helped out Light is because Misa's life was in order. He had leverage over Rem, so she helped him out. He doesn't have any leverage over Ryuk. Ryuk is basically those Michael Jackson popcorn memes. He's just there to be entertained. He doesn't actually care about who wins. He doesn't care about light. As a matter of fact, the Death Note itself prohibits Ryuk from helping him. He cannot help him kill anybody. He cannot tell him their real names and he cannot stop him from dying or else Ryuk will die. And Ryuk clearly cares way more about himself than he ever will about oh, yeah. anything, including doing his own job. Whereas if we included all of Lelouch's people, he has a literal army, along with Max and Spin Kick Boy and a girl that can give the Geass to anybody she chooses. Oh look, now he's going against an army of Geass people. Light is fucked. Yeah. And not to say that Light couldn't win. After watching this, I kind of have to agree. Found out Light is fucked. <laughs> he remained hidden in the shadows and all these other things, but given an even playing field, they're also pretty even mentally. Generally speaking, Lelouch just has more tools, and the tools that he has counter lights. That's all there is to it. Yeah, and here to me is I the agree. biggest reason why Lelouch wins, because beyond all the powers and all the stipulations, at the end of their series, what happens? They both die. But why do they die? Light dies because he's too arrogant to accept power at a cost. He thinks he can beat anybody without the power of the Shinigami eyes, and ultimately he dies because of it. Lelouch, on the other hand, defeats the Britannian Empire and unites... You know, that's kind of true there. I wonder if if, if Light actually accepted the Shinigami eyes, and it, I wonder if he could have... He probably could have won at the end of Death Note. ...the world against him. He makes himself the villain and dies in order to unite the world. At the end of the day, yeah, Light and Lelouch each have the same goal. But Light fails. Lelouch succeeds. This has been an incredibly difficult video to make, guys. Getting all the information together and trying to assess out who would win and what situation and all that stuff has been really, really hard. I actually... Yeah, at this point in time, guys, you guys... If you haven't seen Code Geass, I'm sorry for the spoilers, but you, you were warned many times. Had a lot more stuff that I decided not to put into this video because it would just make it way too long. But I figured with each of these characters... I'm shocked how fast this video went by. I got really engaged. This was really good. In season 3, that it'd probably be time to kind of put my thoughts together and see who would win given whatever situation guys if, if you, you enjoyed it as much as i did like, do this guy a favor subscribe way, please let me like do all this stuff this guy's under 2,000 and subs and, and, and it's this good of a video of this guy's made a better video than i have ever done i think when it comes to like like a theory video and stuff like that like i i i don't think i could have made a video as good as this like this is really fucking good pretty much every single piece of material i could get my hands on and I just didn't see it. But if you guys do see it, if there's some loophole or stipulation that I missed, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see some other kind of versus thing where two guys are really similar, I might I might do another one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's it for me, guys. It was like really good. Hot. I've said everything I got to say. If you disagree, comment down below. I'm done later. <laughs> He's a loser. Uh, very, very good. He's a loser. What the fuck? Uh, very good overall. A rap battle uh, was awesome, very, very good. But in an actual mindset battle with their powers and their resources, it's easy to say Lelouch would win against Light. Uh, hands down, easy fucking win. Uh, it'd definitely be an interesting like to see the whole like mind battle between Lelouch and Light. But the beginning middle would be very, very tough for both competitors. But the ending, Lelouch is definitely going to have the upper hand and win and beat Light. So thank you again, guys, for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. 
do all that good stuff join the discord especially if you made it to this length of the video this is a very long video i was not expecting um this double feature reaction to be as long as it was but hey hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one until then later this is the prince of the motherfucking saiyans and i am ordering you to subscribe to steven z killer